For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show you how to iterate forward through a loop and then back through a loop, and in this case to do some cool ASCII graphics, but you could apply this to anything, particularly things like uh, NeoPixel animations is a good one, sound things. Anytime you want to create an increase and a decrease running back and forth, back and forth, uh, this will help, and it's, it's quite simple. So all I'm importing library-wise is the time uh, library, so I can put little pauses, I can adjust my intervals. Uh, then I have an integer variable called len for length, length of 10. So that's how many times I'm going to loop forward and then how many times I'm going to loop backward. My interval is the time period, so that's how quickly this happens. And then here you can see in my main loop I have essentially the same type of for loop repeated twice. First I say for i in the range of my length, in this case 10, I'm going to print a space multiplied by i. So at first i is going to be 0, then 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, all the way up through the end of the length of the thing. So I'm just adding spaces and then I'm also printing this little ASCII art of a dot dot and a, uh, a bracket. I pause a little bit between each one so it doesn't zip by too fast. So that gives us the increase and we get out to the edge of that sort of saw wave we see. Then we're working our way backwards. We say for again i in the range of that length of 10 we're going to print space times the length minus i. So initially i is 0, so it's just that length. Then the next time through, we're going to be increasing i. So we're going to take length and subtract 1 from it, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, all the way through until we reach the end and then loop back through. And so this is one way you can really clearly and easily loop forward and backward through a range. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.